Hey guys, the new Fortnite season just dropped, and for this video I want to cover all the best in-game settings for Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4. I'm going to cover the best competitive settings, comparing colorblind modes, sensitivities, keybinds, and more. Please drop a like and subscribe to the channel as I'm on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Now, let's get into the video. So before we cover the best in-game settings, the first thing we're going to do is optimize our launcher settings. So. Open your Epic Games Launcher, then go to your library, and go to Fortnite, and then you'd want to click on the three little dots. Go over to Options. Some people don't know about these, and they actually are really, really useful. So the first option is Fortnite Core and Battle Royale. This is required, and as you can see, it's 60GB. Next is Save the World. Now if you don't play and save the world, uncheck this. The next option, High Resolution Textures, which is an option to play Fortnite more beautifully. So, if you have this selected, unchecked it and get 20 gigabytes back. Next option is DX12 shaders. These are shaders required to run Fortnite using DirectX 12. Now, I'd recommend everyone to play in performance mode. If you don't use DX12, then don't uncheck this. Lastly, we have pre-download streamed assets. Enable this option because what this does is downloads all skins, pickaxes, and other cosmetics saved into your PC. Now, if you don't have this checked every time you come across a player, you would have to download their skin while in a match. Those right there are the best launch options. Next, click on the profile in the top right. Click on settings and scroll down until you see desktop notifications. Uncheck both of these options as they make your game stutter. Alright, now we can cover the best in-game settings for Season 4. Let's start with the video settings. At the top under display, there's your window mode, which you always want to set to full screen. Playing on full screen will make your game run faster, meaning more FPS, and will make your game feel more responsive because you will have less input lag. Next, your resolution is mainly a matter of preference. Now, I'd recommend using 1920 by 1080 However, if you're a competitor or you just want better frames, a much better option is using Stretch Resolution. I have a tutorial on my channel explaining how to get Stretch Res. I'll leave a link in the description. Next is V-Sync, turn this off, because V-Sync is bad for Fortnite. Moving on to on-frame limit, that depends entirely on the refresh rate of your monitor. My rule is to cap your FPS at your refresh rate. For example, if you play on a 144Hz, then cap it at 144FPS. And if you play at 75Hz, cap it at 120FPS. This ensures smoother gameplay while also avoiding big stutters and frame rate drops from playing on unlimited. In the following section called graphics, your brightness is again all preference. I use 115%, but you may prefer it a little brighter or dimmer. User interface contrast is a setting that changes how saturated the colors are in your settings and menus, not your actual gameplay. Colorblind mode is personal preference. I use Protonope 3 and 115% brightness, so in the end, use whatever colors you prefer. For motion blur, you want this off. For rendering mode, you want to use performance mode as it provides much clearer visibility as you're on low graphics. Things like grass are removed, which also improves your FPS. Now onto the graphics quality setting. I do not advise using the auto set option. This benchmarks your PC and then recommends settings that make the game look better. What you should do is to set the quality preset option to low. This automatically sets all the graphics options to lower or off and gets you the highest possible frame rate. Make sure to put 3D resolution to 100%. But if your PC is not that great, then lower it slightly. Also, I almost forgot I would set your view distance to epic to see loot far away. The last section is advanced graphics. Show FPS should be kept on to see your frames. Use GPU crash debugging, and all it does is to send info to the developers if your game crashes. It will cost you some performance, which is why I leave it to off. Set latency markers off, NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency is a setting you will have if you have an NVIDIA GPU. I highly recommend turning NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency mode to on plus boost. What it does is to reduce system latency on GeForce graphics cards and laptops so your actions occur quicker, giving you a competitive edge. Now on to Game Settings tab. Toggle Sprint should be on because we want to click the Sprint key and start sprinting. Then Auto Open Doors should be turned on. The reason being, anytime you mess up and make a door edit, you'll automatically go through it without losing any momentum. Plus, you can still open doors normally with your Interact key. Mantle Settings should be left at default. After that, in the Combat section, Hold to swap pickup I recommend having on. Toggle targeting makes it so you don't have to hold down your targeting key while ADSing. 
which in turn gives you less control, so turn it off. Mark Danger when targeting refers to the little red mark when you ping, therefore turn it on. Auto pickup weapons should be turned off. And finally, auto sword consumables should be left on as this puts all your healing items and shield on the right side of your inventory for you. For the building section, put reset building choice on for consistency and turbo building on because we're not in season 2. Auto confirm edits is the edit on release option, but edit on release is preference. I use it and I recommend using it for beginners. Now going into extra game options. None of these settings really matter up until Nvidia highlights and peripheral lighting. I advise turning them both off for better frames. Tap to search you should really have on, it frees up your finger while you interact with stuff and there's no disadvantage to it. Lastly, turn all your replays off if you want a solid FPS boost. And for the energy saving options, I would keep these on to have your PC's hardware last longer. Now onto your game UI or HUD options. Reticle and damage feedback. Keep your reticle on. Reticle indicator on, this is the little mark next to your crosshair that tells you how many bullets you have left. I keep damage number on list, the other two options are personal preference. HUD scale is preference, just please do not make it too small. Anything above 75 or 80% is good. Then I recommend leaving everything on except latency, debug stats, quest progress, and creative runtime stats because all of it is extremely important and vital for helping you in-game. Following that, mouse and keyboard sensitivities are all preference as well. I play at 1600 dpi and 6.2%. I recommend using anything from 6% to 12% as the highest. Your ADS sense should be 30% to 60% and for your scope being 30% as the lowest and 80% as the highest. Building and editing sense work the best with both being on the default 100%. Now, for your audio settings, I highly recommend using the high quality setting if you have a decent modern headset. However, if you have a low-end PC or a budget headset, then you can use low as this setting can apparently decrease performance slightly. Make sure you're using visualized sound effects, as it's what every pro is using for good reason. It's basically a visual sound indicator that points you to different things happening in the game like enemy footsteps and other sounds. Keybinds. For these, you want to set them up to be the most optimal. Here is an example that you can configure. I recommend using Use WASD, Sprint on C, Crouch on Left Control, Reload on R, Use on E, Pickaxe on Q, and Wall on Mouse Button 4, Floor on X, Stairs on Mouse Button 5, Roof on Left Shift, Building Edit on F. Now, overall guys, these are the best in-game settings for Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4. If you found this video useful or learned something new, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.